All right, here's a video on tuning up and I, I guess a functional review of this Rinaldi Milano. Uh, this is a wonderful ax, roughly a two pound head with a 17 inch handle. It is a slip fit. Now, um, I should say right off the bat, I love this ax. It's a very functional ax, very, um, very good steel, very well designed, uh, multiple different places that you can work with the wood on this, uh, on this bit. It, uh, it has a, a slightly sloped in heel, a slightly sloped in toe, and, uh, and, and just an ever so slightly swept center line, which gives you just a ton of different options for uh, precision and bulk stock removal when, uh, when you're carving. Um, in this video, I'm going to be making this spatula or um, you could even call it a, a cast iron scraper. Really good idea to have one of these around if you cook with cast iron, a griddle or a pan or a Dutch oven uh, because steel will scrape your seasoning right off. Um, so you could use this as either, um, this is a piece of oak firewood that I just had lying around and thought it had an interesting shape to it. And, uh, and so we turned it into, um, use it for, you know, whatever, <laughs> for whatever you will, you know, I, I was just having fun making it. Um, but this, this ax is wonderful. It really did exceed all of my expectations. Um, the, the slip fit handle, is somewhat unique in that if you carry your axe in a belt loop it's going to be wonderful but if you're using it long term for carving and you know taking good swings the handle is a bit thin for my preference um, being a slip fit it does have a pole it does have a pole and it does have the traditional um, I'd say maybe uh, modern Western uh, eye shape so you could you could wedge this if you wanted to um, I would not recommend wedging this handle if you are going to wedge this axe I would put a a, um, um, a thicker handle on on the uh, on the axe I think that would be really good for carving um, but it's a very functional handle um, now this axe did come rougher than any axe I have ever purchased I'll put some footage on there um, but uh, uh, you, you, the bit was actually fairly good. The, the bit profile, it's 15 degrees at the heel and the toe, maybe 17 at the center. So it's a very thin uh, bit profile, but just about everything on this ax was rough. I mean, really, really rough. I, so I just kind of filed this top flat a little bit, um, evened out that pole. The worst part about this ax was uh, this relief, this finger relief. Um, this was done with a, uh, a, a circular grinder, like a, like a bench grinder. Um, you could just tell it was like a, it was like a steel beaver just went, you know, um, went nuts on it. Box facts, don't knock over my camera, okay? Um, so I had to take care of that, uh, but everything, everything done. Um, this is just a wonderful, wonderful ax. I really like it. It's got incredible steel. Um, for the price, $45 shipped, I believe is what I paid for this. Um, so if you are willing and able to put a little bit of time into an ax, maybe you want a carver, maybe you want a, uh, you know, just a woodworking ax, like a side ax to keep around. Uh, this Rinaldi Milano, I think is something you should look at. Um, anyways, enough talking, let's get to the project. Let's get to the tune up. Now, I can hold it very comfortably. So this temper is not affected in any way by that grinding. Not affected at all. But, look at that. 
I think it already looks about 10 times better. That ugly, uh, you know, grinding there, that's all gone. Let's throw the handle back on. There we go. I can actually fit my uh, fit my finger in there now. I could. Yep, that was on the right side there. Talk about being hung on a shelf. All right. We're going to put an edge on it. This is the hard Arkansas stone. And this is going to be the last stone that I'm really forming a noticeable burr with. And then I'll switch to the black here. That's not even with a strop. <clears throat> All right. Well, I tell you what, so far, I am really impressed with the steel. It's taking a great edge. We'll see how long it holds that edge. that there. Okay. All right, how sharp do you think it is? <laughs> Wicked sharp. Look at that.